to conclude, um, so I think I'll bring it around full circle. So some of the things that I would point out uh, when you're marketing enterprise mobility versus consumer, your sales channel will obviously impact your promotional choices. So with managed mobility, it was very direct business development relations. Um, so we spent more of our marketing effort on engaging with our sales force. With uh, Recalls Plus, it was about um, building up numbers and um, finding vehicles to get to a lot of people very quickly for small amounts of money because it was a free mobile app. I mean, enterprise, enterprise software customer or enterprise software companies are in the business of making money. So even though, um, so basically because it was free, any type of marketing dollars we put at Recalls Plus, we, we had to, you know, at least get it back somehow, right? Either um, through uh, future sales to enterprise customers or, so those are the considerations you have to take into account. The idea of, you know, leveraging a corporate brand in a consumer sphere may not make sense and I've already showed you uh, the examples, right? Very different. Um, but know when to leverage that brand. SAP has a, has a great credibility in the enterprise marketing space and we were able to get picked up in Forbes as, um, uh, and, and Recalls Plus was able to get a mention in Forbes because it was talking about how SAP is, is revitalizing and, and innovating and, and so we were able to kind of leverage best of both worlds there. So keep that in mind. Um, ROI, ROI, ROI. So again, any promotion that you do, make sure you know why you're doing it. You know, do you want to get uh, a lot of downloads? Or do you want to reach a sales target? Like those are very important things. And, and as any marketer, you'll gain credibility with you know, the executives you work with if you actually, you'd be surprised at who doesn't think about those things. So keep that in mind. Awareness versus lead gen activities directly affect your messaging. So awareness, um, I mentioned about the fact that using social media, you're not, um, and using social media to build awareness, you're not necessarily tweeting, download my product. Um, but a lead generation activity is usually more directed and usually more targeted at a specific tangible outcome, like I want so many appointments set with my sales folks. So the messaging is gonna be a little bit different. Awareness activities like thought leadership, you often hear thought leadership, that usually gets in the bucket of awareness. Um, how much you, you, what your mix is, is, um, is a, Personal decision, um, depending on, again, what your goals are. Budget, obviously, is a big consideration. So wh where are you, where you going to get the biggest bang for your buck, especially related to promotion? And um, I mean, there's a lot of expensive marketing things that you can do, but there's a lot of uh, inexpensive marketing things that you can do that has just even the, uh, the same impact. I mean, with... Uh, like I mentioned Pinterest or some of these other free social media vehicles. I mean, it, all it takes is effort, but that also comes at a cost because you're using time um, or you need to hire someone to, to manage those channels or whatever, right? So you have to remember that that actually does come at a little bit of cost, but maybe not so much of a cost as like say, launching a commercial, you know, during the Super Bowl. Like that's a bit extreme, but you see the two examples there. I mentioned this already, you know, Enterprise software, it's very important to build momentum through customer adoption, but in the consumer sphere, you want numbers, so you don't really need to exploit one person. You need to exploit the fact that you're getting a group of people. Maybe your target, maybe you market based on, you know, we found that this group of people have adopted Recalls Plus, and, and we're gonna market that, and then that group is really important to this other group of people, and they're like, hey, if that association's using this, maybe I should use this as well. So. So think about those different approaches, right? Um, and I think that's it.